Pro League from Exeter Lanes, Exeter, New Hampshire. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Thank you for watching this great game of Canada and Bowling. Celeste Buckmore on the right on lane four and teammate Nikki McKeever on the left. The other team we're facing is missing two bowlers, the team Reno. So they're gonna bowl side by side the teammates to keep pace. So teammates side by side, Celeste Buckmore the one, two and nine, Nikki the one, six and eight. Celeste leads up the head pin, and a good try by McKeever. Won't go. Three string format, two points for a win, one for a tie, two for total. First of two matches today, as both get a 10 to start. Later today, we'll have Amanda Carroll and Matt Susie's team bowling on Canada Pomoli Network on YouTube. Second box, first string, Celeste Buckmore. Head pin hit again. And she has a diamond. Good piece of wood in back to help carry. Nikki, favorable lead, the 4 7, great wood in front. Buckmore for a spare, missed it left, has the two and the five. McKeever drills it for a spare. 20 and a ball through two. Again, these are teammates together, just. Five on three match, this first match today. Celeste a nine, 19 through two. Celeste, 62 years old, still bowling at a very high level. And there's a strike on, great shot. 29 plus two through three, how about that shot? Mima on lane three, teammate, Nikki McKeever has the Caleri on the spare. 25 through two. Celeste from, North, from uh, Northampton, New Hampshire, originally Hampton, New Hampshire. Current 99 average, her best season ever was a 107 average. McKeever is open. Nikki from Lynn, Massachusetts. It's nice out for nine. Celeste, the one, two, nine, and ten. Nikki, tough leave here. Look at this one. The six on the right, five in the middle, seven left. She should be at 34 after three. Celeste, good try in the object pin. Leaves up the three and ten. McKeever is open. Eight box for Celeste. 33 through three. And correction, eight net strike for, uh, for Celeste. 37 through three and eight, 45 through four. And Nikki was 34 through three. Now an eight box, 42 through four. Scoreboard correction. Nice ball there for Celeste Buckmore. High single of 179, high triple 435. High five, six sixty-five out of Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. And right on for a spare. Good bid by Nikki. Could he get the seven to go? Strong star for Celeste. 55 half plus one. Nikki and nine out of the gutter. 51 half. Those are teammates. And now we'll have the third bowl is each up now. Jeff Bugia on the right. For Team Bopre. Number 10 seed against number 12 seed, Team Reno. Here's Shannon Scribner from South Portland, Maine. Should be the number three seed this Saturday's Women's Candlepins for Cancer inaugural show on Candlepin Bowling Network. At the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. 11 a.m. start. She'll be in the second match. Face the winner of Deb DeRosier and Mario T. Johnson. Jeff Bugia pulls in the Friday Night Pro League for Riverwalk. Three, six, four to the left. Scribner in the pocket, seven. 
three, five, and the ten. Just 25 years old, Shannon Scribner has won so much already. Bugia, good bid. Oh, what a try. Couldn't get the bounce off the wall she wanted. Bugia sails right for an eight. Scribner a nine. Jeff, 40 years old, from Drake, Massachusetts, originally Methuen, Mass. Overall average 113, career high for a season 121. He's got some great stats we'll talk about in just a moment. One three in the seven. Scribner off to the left has the parallel pins. The one five, three nine, back left is the eight pin. Jeff's high single. Uh, eye popping 219 with a high triple of 478 and a high five of 714. Trying to kick it over. He does. Spare. Nice shot. 18 in the ball through two in the first of three. Our first of two matches today on Canopin Bowling Network. Scribner with the five and the eight gets one for nine. 18 through two. Please share this match with your friends and family. Tell them about the great game of Candle from Bowling. On Candle from Bowling Network, on YouTube. Shannon averaged 112 right now at the Big 20. Highest 114 for a season. For Horsman plus the 7-8. Bougie and his spare gets five, 23 through two. Just missed the head pin. He has the one, three, and the six. The Scribner has a post. And he'll get a nine, 32 through three. Scribner looking for the out, tough five. Ouch. Just 23 through three. Shannon's high single, 170, high triple 407, high five 642. She won the recent ICBA championship last year with a 631 high five. One nineteen for Shannon's team, one thirty-eight for Bowfray's team. Jeff has the two five and the eight wood to help. Shannon favor relieve the one three six. Shannon's high 10, 12, 42. Bugia, got it, spare. 42 and a ball through four, second spare of the string. Scribner can't get the six to go on the Audric pin. Trying to settle down, which he misses shots, tends to get it flustered and sometimes it affects her game. She's gotten better and better though. And at just 25, her upside is huge. One of the top female bowls in Maine. Nine, 32 through four, slow start for her. Out of the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. She, just, she has two ICBA championships, 2018 and 2022. Bougier in the pocket, eight, make it nine. Seven pin left up on the spare, 51 through four. Shannon Scribner, the banana split. Four, seven left, the six, 10 on the right. Jeff's high 10, 1292. Both of the old Pilgrim lanes in Haverhill, Mass. And he gets another spare. Back to back, 61 at plus one. Three spares in the first of three from Exeter. Scribner trying to bounce up. What a try. Open half. Open half. Shannon at 10, 42, first half. Averaging 111 here in the Sunday Monthly Pro League. Jeff coming in with a 107 average the first few weeks of the season. They bowl twice, two strings a match, two matches, I should say, once a month. We'll have two matches in March, by the way, March 5th and 26th, make up from December's cancellation. Jay Simino filling in. 
On lane four. He's struggling of late, averaging 112 overall. Got three in that first ball. Justin Line is filling in also. He has a nice shot there. He's averaging 112 overall. Two pins higher than last season. Triangle plus the seven for Simino. Three, five, six on the right. JT trying to kick it over. Got it. What a shot for its fair. JT hoping to be here next season as a regular. Deservedly so. And what a try. What an out. Beautiful shot for Jay Simino. All that for a 10. One seventy-seven, one forty-eight. Team Volpre in the lead. And two absent bowlers cost ten points overall for Reno's team. Now it's Ed Woodside's team today. Check mark plus the ten. Strike on spare. Wow, JT. What a start. Making a statement. Twenty through one. Thirty plus two through two. Wow. Well, with discount for Simino, the five and ten. No wood, no luck. Simino gets one for nine, 19 through two. First of two matches today on Canopy Bowling Network. Simino open, 3-2 split. There's a shot for double, almost. Thought he had it. 7-10 split. Simino trying to go two and a three, now he's open. 3-6-10. JT working a strike on lane three here in Exeter. Monthly draft mixed pro league. What a try. Not enough steam to get to the seven. Nine on the fill, 39 through two. Jay Simino, 9, 28 through 3. That won't count. 9 for JT. 48 through 3. Ed Woodside will be up next. And then the tsunami, Keith Bopre. Simino on lane 4. Can't find the head pin. 5 2 split. Line is crossing over, another spare chance, the three, six, and 10. Off to a great start. Subbing in, as is Jay. Good offer, almost. Seven pin remains. JT, up the wall, not quite. Six pin left up. Jay gets nine. A 10, three nines, 37 through four, 10 for JT. 58 through four. His team's up or down right now, 204 to 196. Two spares though to none. Team Volfre on the right. Scoreboard on your screen. Bob Lee doing the technology as usual. Outstanding job. He'll chime in a commentary from time to time. Simino crossing over, nine. Six pin left up. Justin Lyonese off to the right this time. One, four, seven, nine, and 10. Simino missed it right, can't believe it. Always want to hit something. JT. Off the head pin, good try, all but the 10. Terrific start for him. Nine for Jay, open half, good pinning, 46. And JT gets the wood to go for a 10, 68 half. Making a statement here so far for next season. Let's bring in Bob Lee. Bob, happy new year, Bob. 
Hey, Paul. Well, we got a tight match. Um, we have two absent, two absent bowlers, uh, Dom Drake and uh, Becca, Vestal. Becca Vestal. We're going to give them half their score. We're going to keep track of the scores. That, uh, they're they're going to be awarded 86 and 107 per game, respectively. So right now it's a seven-pin game, but two marks coming up for Team Beaupre. Keith Beaupre now for the spare on the 7-10. Oh! oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Woodside, Ed Woodside, The Rock, a spare to start his match. Keith, a nine. Keith, the Tsunami Volpre. Ed, The Rock, Woodside. Ed Bull in the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour again. Always up there in tournaments. Bowling for over 50 years. His mother got him interested when he was young. Overall league average of 117 with a high single of 189, high triple 501, high five 735. Bull Prey 247, the eight behind the two. Second box, first string. Woodside on the bonus, eight, two, and 10, 18 through one. At the East Boston Mass originally, now in Saugus Mass. Bull Prey can't get the kick as a seven, eight. Woodside, good effort, leads up to 10. Ed Bowles out of Central Park Lanes, East Boston, Mass. Chucky's House. And Keith out of Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. Home of Mark Ritchie. Bowl Prey in 8, 17 through 2. Woodside at 10, 28 through 2. Two thirty four, two thirty. 230. Ed Woodside, captain today for Team Reno, up 4. But down 2 nothing in marks to Team Bowl Prey, who has the 1, 3, and the 7. Woodside, the one, the eight, the nine. What a try by Bopre, it won't go. Woodside, a nice spare, beautiful shot. Two marks already, 38 in ball for three, Bopre at 10, 27 through three, in the first of three from Exeter. Check out Shoots from Sports Bar, 6 Columbus Ave here at Exeter Lanes. Great place to hang out. Come watch the Patriots, Bruins, Red Sox, Celtics, large screen TVs, free pool tables, darts, billiards, great draft beer, a whole lot more. Wood winning pizza, Shoots from Sports Bar, Exeter Lanes, Exeter, New Hampshire. Woodside for a strike, got it. What a start. Strike on spare, wow. 48 through 3, 58 plus 2 through 4. The Rock is rocking here in the first. Bull Prey, another 10, 37 through 4. Keith averaging 113 here in the monthly Pro League. It's a draft mixed league, a privilege to be here. Three men, two women per team. Bopre pounds the strike zone, nine. Great chance for a spare with a six pin. Woodside, just off to left, has the Caleri working on a strike. Keith, a real fireballer. For a spare, has his first mark. 47 ball, 43 mile an hour fastball. Woodside, seven on the strike. 65 through four. He'll get an eight, 73 half. So JT, Justin Lane is a 68 half, a 73 half for the shorthanded Team Reno, who's off today. Ed Woodside taking the captain role as the anchor. Halfway through the first of three strings, 279, 260, but three marks on the board for Team Bolpre, down by 19, Paul Grant, Bob Lee, the monthly draft Sunday Pro League on Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Share this match, like, subscribe, no credit card required. Candlepin Bowling Network free on YouTube. Candlepins for Cancer qualifying rounds start Tuesday, January 24th at Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass. Starting at 11 a.m. Thursday, January 26th, 11 a.m. Saturday, January 28th, 
11 a.m., 2 p.m. for men and women. Sunday, special time, 1 and 4 p.m. Register CandlePinsForCancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. If you can't bowl, please donate to the charity. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Top five live show March 12th at Bolarama, Portsmouth. $80 entry fee and limited entries allowed. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. These are teammates side by side to be a five on three match today. Nikki McKeever on the right, Celeste Buck on the left. Celeste had a tough one fill. 56 through 5. Nikki McKeever gets an 8, 64 through 6. A correction, Nikki an 8, 59 through 6. Celeste a 6, 62 through 6. Nikki on the head pin, 2 on split, 7 left, 6, 10 on the right. Try to kick that wood over. Celeste Buckmore, the half Worcester. So two spares to none in favor of Team Bolfre. Nice shot, she got it for a spare. Buckmore, object pin, punched out two. Nikki 69 in the ball through seven, her second mark of the string, and a spare five in the second. Celeste, tough five box. Since that spare, a one fill, a six and a five, 67 through six with three marks. Through seven boxes, 67 through seven, and a strike eight in the third. Two marks officially for her. McKeever on the spare in lane four. On the head pin again. 2-2 two -two split. 75 through seven. Buckmore, 3-1 split. 2-4-7 in the 10. Nikki has the 3-6 on the right, the 4-7 on the left. Just missed the object pin. Celeste misses left, has the 2-4 in the 10. Right. So, Paul, so some of the viewers at home may have noticed that the score for Team Reno jumped up to uh, 376. That's because I've already I've added in the, the absent bowlers, Becca and, uh, and Don Drake. So, obviously, that lead will not hold up, obviously. Celeste Buckmore, 7, 74 through 8. Nikki at 9, 84 through 8. Starts her ninth box, first string. Celeste has the post. McKeever on the head pin, off the wall. Can't get the five to go. Good try. Buckmore trying to get back on track. Beautiful shot. Ah, oh, thought the 10 would go. Wouldn't it? But now for her. Nikki McKeever at 10, 94 through 9. Celeste, 9. Tough second half, just 83 through 9. At a 55 plus 1 half, but I got one fill. And downward trajectory since then. A 6, a 5, a 7, and a 9. Nikki McKeever on the object in the pocket. Five in the eight. Buckmore has the four spin minus one, the one, four, seven. Nikki averaging 105 overall. Spare. Third spare of the string fills a five and six so far. 104 in the ball from the 10th. Buckmore for a spare, right in the hole. Nikki averaging 103 in the Sunday Pro League. The high single is 165, high triple 427, high five 654. Buckmore eight, and disappointing 91 for a string.
Nikki on the bonus, five. 109 first string. But now the scoreboard's up to date officially, bud. Yeah, so basically each team has uh, 15 boxes left, and there is a 22 pin lead for Team Reno, but there are two marks, so you gotta, you gotta figure it's, it's somewhere in the order of about an eight pin, eight to 10 pin lead after those fills come through. All right, Shannon Scribner, the left hander. Plus or minus, plus or minus on lane four. Yeah. Open half, 42. Trying to get on track here. Jeff Bugia working his third spare on lane three. Sail right, only three. 64 half. Scribner missed everything. Trying to get a first mark. Jeff has the one, the two, using 2.7 paramounts over, over 28 years. Scribner in eight, 50 through six. Jeff's parents pulled growing up. He gets a 10, 74 through six in the first of three. Jeff, the tournament champions in WNDS Stars and Strikes. And speaking of that, we'll have Bob Warren, special guest next Saturday at the Big 20 for the Women's Top 5 Kennel Pitcher Cancer Show on Kennel Promoting Network. Just an honor to be with him. Scribner with Clary. She has favorite bowling moment bowler Tom Ulster on starts and strikes. Scribner open. Jeff has the two and the seven. And he got another one. Fourth mark of the string. 84 and a ball through seven. Scribner, seven. Just 57 through seven. Fourteen pin lead. Plus two bonus balls. Scribner, half whistle left. Getting frustrated. Bougier in the bonus. Wicked curveball, left to right. Four. 88 through seven. Scribner. Head pin hit, won't carry. Not easy shot, only one in five go for pro bowls. That wood stats by Kenneth Mullen Network has the seven nine split. Two pieces of wood. Bougier is open with the one, four, seven. Scribner, nine. 66 through eight. Jeff Bougia, eight, 96 to eight. Four hundred to 389, 11 pin lead for Team Reno. On the right, they're down to one nothing in the spare column. 5-10 wall with discount for Bugia. Shannon for a spare. Missed it. And it's the one and three. And this is something she's trying to get better at. Keeping it cool when she's struggling. Bugia's open. Scribner gets a nine. 75 through nine. Open string. Bugia gets the 10 for a nine. 105 through nine in the first of three. Sunday monthly mixed draft pro league on Candlepin Bowling Network. Scribner looking for first mark, beautiful ball. Look at this, spread eagle. Unbelievable. 1% chance here. Bougier has the Caleri. 10th box, first string. Scribner will try to bounce back in the second string. Good try. Oh, she's stolen. Unbelievable. Wow. Just the th thing she needed to go. Wow. Of all things, a spread eagle conversion and finally a smile on her face. A stunning shot. A tough string. 
And that might loosen her up. 85 in the ball in the 10th. A 1% chance goes for a spare. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a break, a little bit of grace. But yeah, good bid. These are the 10. For a nine box, 114 for a string. Four spares. Scribner, after the spread eagle spare, gets seven and ends up with a 92 first string. But a good, strong finish. Giving the team the lead. 426, 407. Five boxes to go, 10 boxes to go. That was tremendous, Paul. That was, yeah, you know, she was, when she was nose down. She was nose down. Shannon Scribner, we're going to have you uh, next week in the Kellen for Cancer Show as the number three seed. Yep. All ready for that? Yes, I'm ready. You ought to be lucky they're good in that spread eagle, huh? I was just locked on that one. Sometimes you just a little break like that to get you going. All right. All right, good luck the rest of the way. Good luck next weekend. Shannon Scribner out of South Portland, Maine, out of the Big 20. Justin Linus on a monster string. 68 half on lane four is the 1 3 6 spare chance. Jay Simino has been open 46 to 5. Starts off that miserable half Worcester right. JT for another one. Can't get the kick. Simino, 1 in 5 chance, leads up the 1 6 on the right. Four seven left. Both subbing in today. JT Justin Lines a ten seventy eight through six. Simino looking for a big out, missed everything. Tough six, fifty two through six. Team Bolfrey down, despite having a five on three advantage. But you could say a power play. They're getting 10 extra pins in a sense because Team Reno with two bowls missing lose five pins for a string for each of the two bowlers. JT drops nine. Four pin left up. Start off with a spare strike. One pin left on the board so far. Another spare. 88 the ball through seven in the first of three. First of two matches. Simino tried to go one of the three, got the one. Nice 10 for Jay, 62 through six. 12 o'clock shortly after that, our next match. Team Susie, the number one seed, with Alana Brown, Sonia Johnson, Luca Chana, Austin Barnes, and Dr. Seuss, Matt Susie, defending ACST Pro Champion. Number one seed up next. JT on the spare. Seven in the eight, no wood, no luck. 96 through seven, Simino drops nine. Chance for his first mark with a six pin. Number six seed taking on number one seed. Next match, Team Daly with Kathy Boyd, Kenendo Gachana, Mike Salona, Amanda Carroll. The number one seed, we try by Lion Aids. The next Saturday's top five Kale Fencer Cancer Show and the destroyer, Josh Daly. Averaging 120, one versus six after this match. And you gotta be kidding me, Jay, tough luck in that wood. Open string continues. JT, another 10. 106 through eight. Simino, a nine, 71 through eight. The number 10 team, Beaupre, number 12 team, Team Reno. JT taking his time. Got the hip in to go. Another chance for a spare. The three, the six, the ten. Simino in the pocket. Thin hit. Has a diamond. These go just over one in four times for Pro Bowls. That would stats provided by Canlip and Bowling Network. JT for a spare. No. Not happy with that shot. Simino breaks through the diamond. Diamonds are hard to cut. You got that one. First mark of the string, 81 on the ball through nine. JT another 10, 116 through nine. His only blemish, a nine box in the third, nine box in the third box of the string. 116 through nine. 
Yanker bowl is to follow to close out the first to three. JT, 5-2 split. Simino crossing over, strike bid nine. Kingpin left up the five. JT trying to resettle, nice bid. These are the six, nine right, seven left. Simino missed it. Two single pins, that was a chance for his only mark of the string. He had, he had a spare nine rather, so 70, 90 through nine would have been his second spare. It's a 10 for 100 for a string. Could have had a lot more, but good finish anyway, even 100. JT in eight, 124, just three pins on the deck, that whole string. 482, 461, the lead is 21 for Team Reno, a la Ed Woodside. But one spare for Team Bolfre, who's on a spare here on lane three. But first it's the Rock, Ed Woodside, a 73 half. Three marks so far at 32 miles an hour. That's the one, three, and the nine behind the three. Bolfre, just four in that spare. 51 half. Leads down to 17. Woodside missed it. This team's up by 17. Beaupre, good bid. Leads up to five and the eight. Woodside a nine. 82 through six. Beaupre, 10, gains a pin. 61 through six. The lead is 16, 491. 475, four boxes to go. Two more strings after this. One more match after that. Woodside on lane four. Just four. Bopray, the tsunami. Just three. Keith's high single 194 did in the ACST playoffs last year. Atlantic Hamilton single star against Bruno DeFeo to win that match. Riverwalk Lane's house record. Spare bid won't go. Would try to push into the four and seven. Woodside the number one pin for a 10. And missed it for a nine. 80, make that 91 through seven. Beaupre gains another pin. For the 10, 71 through 7, lead is 15, 500 to 485, three blocks to go. Oprah needs at least two marks, maybe three. Woodside. The wobbling two, the eight, seven left. Wood to help. Oprah slams the pocket, two, two split. Four, seven left, three, six on the right. Ethan Lawrence Mass, Richard Lynn Mass, pulling for about just over 26 years now. Woodside, no spare. Two pin left up. Well, pray for the spare on the object pin, nothing else. Woodside at 10, 101 through 8. Well, pray, nice out, 9. 80 through eight, lead is up to 16. 5, 10, 4, 94, two blocks to go here in the first of three. Justin Line, a strong string. 124, lead all bowlers. Woodside trying to go for the dagger. Check mark right, the five to the left, three, six, 10 to the right. Beaupre, seven, Nine, ten. Got some wood to work with. Five pieces on the deck. Wood side open. Five, six, and ten. At a 73 half open since. Bopre for spare. Got it! Big spare in the ninth. 90 to ball through nine. Wood side of nine. One ten through nine. It's a 15 pin lead. Bopre on a bonus. A strike will be astronomical here. 519, 504, another fantastic finish here in the Sunday Monthly Pro League on Candlepin Bowling Network. Oh, 
Chance for the 4-7. Overrated needs a double possibly now. And that won't help, a three. 93 through nine, Woodside for the dagger. Bang! 120 the ball in the 10th. They'll take the first string. They'll take the first two points. Down two bowlers. Losing 10 pins extra. They're gonna win the string. Eight for Keith Bow for a disappointing 101 first string. Team ends up with a 515. Woodside Spearfield just three, 123. Justin Liney is 124 to lead his team and the, both sides. Final score, the first string, Team Reno, 532. Team Beaupre, 515, a 17-pin lead. One down, two to go. Our first of two matches today, Paul Grant, Bob Lee, Exeter Lane, Shooters Club Sports Bar, Sunday Monthly Mixed Draft Pro League on Kennel from Bowling Network on YouTube. Please share, like, subscribe, get notified when we go live. No credit card required. Kenneth and Bowl Network, free on YouTube. Now Shannon's all laughing now, all loose now for a second string after that spread eagle conversion for a spare. Two teammates side by side with a five on three advantage. Nikki McKeever has a four horseman check mark with the three pin to the right. Celeste Buckmore parallel pins. Five, eight, six, ten, left to right. McKeever, spare! Celeste to match. No. Celeste a nine to start the second of three. 91 first ring, a struggle in that second half. Had a 56 half to start. Nikki McKeever at 109 first string, working on a bonus on lane four. Crossing over, thin hit. That seven has the 5 7 10 with Wood. 17 through one. Celeste the one, three, six, the nine behind the three. Kiva leads up the five and the seven. 17 through one. Sless open with a three six. Nikki in that eight box, 25 for two. Celeste to 10, 19 through two. Again, these are teammates due to the five on three advantage, going side by side. Shannon Scribner and Jeff Bougia to follow. McKeever crossing over. Another 5 7 10. Try to get the Matt Susie special here, but Matt did it without Wood for a spare last season. So I call it the Susie special. Others have done it obviously, but that was on a spare. And got a spare on it. And everything with the 10. Celeste sails right. Leads up the 1, 3, and the 10. McKeever a nine, 34 through three. Celeste, nice out of nine, 28 through three. Let's bring in Bob Lee, his thoughts on the first string, Bob. Great first string. Well, yeah, I mean, you, 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 hate, you hate to see a team shorthanded like that, but it, it really, uh, it was impressive. The, 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 the strings by uh, both Lyonnais and Woodside obviously carried it. They were the only, only two in their 20s. And uh, I'm sure Justin was happy that uh, let Ed only threw three in the final, so he had the high, high score for 124. Great win for the team. McKeever for a spare, almost. One, two, four from Celeste, and again, won't go. Hit the object pin. He's up the two and the four. McKeever, that won't count, that'll be a nine. 43 through four in the second of three. Celeste, a nine. 37 through four. Can okay, after this match, we'll sign off, get ready for a second broadcast of the day. 
Team Seuss, the number one seed against number six seed, Team Daly. Featuring Amanda Carroll, Josh Daly, Mike Salona, Fernando Gachana, and Kathy Boyd. And number one seed, Matt Susie, Austin Barnes, Lou Gachana, Sonia Johnson, Alana Brown. Just after 12 noon on Canopy Mowing Network. We keep it the world with discount, the five and 10. Is open. Celeste with three in that first ball. Celeste 98 average in the Sunday Pro League. Nikki a 103 average. And she has a center diamond. Nikki a nine, 52 half. Buck will open the last 10 boxes going back to last string. Hitting decent in the string. Eight that time, 45 half. And now we'll have a third set of bowlers. So, so they kept they kept pace with the dummies. That was their job. They have to get 96 in, in the first half, 97 and a half, second half, and then it's basically a three on three after that for the, for the rest. Thanks, Bob Lee. Shannon Scribner. 92 first string, a spread eagle spare to help her get a 92 first string, a 4-2 split. Her team is down one pin right now. Running total on your screen for the match on your right. Jeff Bugia has the Caleri. Scribner has the 1-8-6-10 on the right. Bugia, spare off the Caleri, nice shot. 10 of the ball to start the second of three. Had a 114 in the first with four spares. Shannon at seven to start the second. All right, Shannon Scribner, their first ball in the uh, second box. Poke seven out of the left uh, side. in the spare. Comes in a little full on the left side of the head pin. Six in the fill, Paul. All right, 16 through one for Jeff Bugia. Good start again. Scribner, beautiful shot, got it! 17 the ball through two. Bugia just missed the object pin, the three. That's the four, seven on the left. So Shane with two marks in the last three boxes going back to last string. She had a 159 in the ICBA championship and a double strike. Nine, I believe. You can watch it on Kenneth Mullen Network, a thrilling match. Dominating win for the ICBA championship. 631 performance. Bouchier in eight, 24 through two. Here's Shannon on the spare. Off the head pin, gets seven. Same thing, a 136. 24 through two. Bouchier, three, two split. One, three, six, four, seven left. Scribner for two in a row. Not this time. A little more inside, it would have gone. Bougier off the wall, can't get the kick to the four, seven. Scribner a nine. 33 through three. Second string. Off the wall, nice 10. Bugia, 34 through three. Shannon, five times state open championship, two time ladies international team championship winner also. 2017 main state APH elimination champ. Has a nice ball, eight, four, seven. She has over 30. She's won 34 junior tournaments, two junior ICBA titles as well. Parallel pins for Bugia. Scribd for spare. Got it. 43 in the ball through four. Heating up here in the second. The number three seed in Saturday's Kennel Pins for Cancer. Inaugural Ladies Top Five show on Kennel Pins Network. Bugia is open with the 4-7. Shannon with the 673 qualifier. Amanda Carroll, the number one seed, 614. Glennis McKinley, 603, the number two seed. Shannon, the three seed, 
at 673. Ruggiero gets a 10, 44 through 4. Number four seed, Deb DeRosa, how about that? 563. Number five seed, Mario Capital T. Johnson, 553. Your top five this Saturday, January 14th, 11 a.m. Come up, discover our main support the ladies. Kennel Fence for Cancer, the live show. Also on Kennel Fence Bowling Network Live. Scribner, Spread Eagle, and she's good. She's got this one. She made the first string of the 10th box for an improbable spare. 47 through 4. Bougier off to the right. Hay bale plus the 10. Scribner, can you do it again? No. Sarcastic smile on her face. Bougia, nice offer, not accepted. Shannon, tough six. 53 through four. And correction, 53 half. Bougia, another 10, three tens in a row. He has a 54 half. Hey, Shannon. I thought you were gonna. I thought you mastered that spread eagle. I thought you make that spread eagle shot. No, no, not on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JT, leading all scorers. The first thing of 124 subbing in today. Chase Simino subbing in also for his team. He had an even 100. Justin on lane four. Jason Simino on lane three. JT has been hit two one split. The four seven and the ten. Got a decent piece of wood to flip over. Simino, he's got a 2-1 split. He has the four on the left, the three, six on the right. And he kick it over. Oh. Somehow the four didn't budge. Jay, good try, he's up the four. A four and a four. JT a nine to start the second. Simino cashes in for a 10. Close first string went to the shorthanded Team Reno, which is now Team Woodside today. Five thirty-two, five fifteen winners in the first. JT drops nine. This time it's a six pin. Simino crossing over. He's got eight, nine. Nine pin left up. Great wood to help. JT, spare. The gentleman shot. Don't hurt him, JT. 19 of all through two. Simino matching spare. 19 of all through two. He was terrific as the number one seed that came up into cancer last show. 703 out of Manchester, Lakeside Lanes. JT, off to the right, just three. 22 through two, in string number two. Simino, just four, the Chesticove leave the four-two split. 24 through two. JT trying to bounce back, get the head pin. But has the four, eight, and the 10. Simino on the object pin, won't carry. He has the two, four, six, 10. Eight, 30 through three with a spare, three. Simino, nice out, nine, 33 through three, second string of three. Check out the award-winning pizza here at Shooters Park Sports Bar at Exeter Lane, six Columbus Ave, Exeter, New Hampshire, $39 gift card special all year round, great for family and friends. JT, a center triangle plus the 710. Simino crossing over, eight, the five to the left, the nine to the right. JT, good try, couldn't get to the 10. Almost went, heck of a try. Simino just missed by a razor thin margin. JT takes his time. 
and gets the 10, 40 through four. Slowing himself down is, is the thing he's working on when he gets off especially. Nine for Simino, 42 through four. That $39 gift card special here at Extra Lanes, Shooters Fun Sports Bar, $39, 75 minutes of bowler, bowling, free shoes, a large 18-inch cheese pizza, and a large pitcher of soda for 75 minutes up to five people in lane. Can't beat that special. $39 here at Shooters Club Sports Bar. Extra lanes. Six Columbus Ave. Extra New Hampshire. JT drops nine. Four pin left up. JT, 39 miles an hour. For a spare. Yes. 50 half plus one. Simino with a three and the five. No. Captain. Nine, 51 half. Anchor ball's coming up to start their second string. Ed Woodside, the rock. 123 first string. Keith Bolpre, 101 first string. Woodside, the hay bale, the pack of five. The tsunami, Keith Bopran, lane three, trying to get going. Seen this earlier, the one eight, six ten on the right. Woodside for spare, couldn't get the five to go. Bopran won't go, good try. Woodside a ten to start his second. Bopran eight. Ed Wood said in the ACST match last season at a 157 and a 156 in the same five string match. Had a 172 last year, one of the tournaments. Bowls at a very high level for a guy in his low 60s. He has the Bob Caleri leave. Bow pray the 1, 2, 9, and 10. Woodside has the 8 left, 6, 10 right. Bopre open, two, nine, and 10. Frustration setting in. Woodside at rear seven, 17 through two. Bopre in eight, 16 through two. Ed Woodside won a men's 10 string of pro series in 2015 with a 1301 score. Won the playoffs in the 1993-94 season as well, as he has the one, two, four. Bofrey, spare chance, three, six, 10. Ed Bolden, Craig Holbrook's Pro League Champion team in the 94-95 season. He gets a spare. 27 the ball through three. Bofrey, no, can't believe it. Bopre at 10, 26 to three. Keith is terrific at the Caleb for Cancer live show. He had a 457 in that first round, including a 169 first string. You can watch it on Caleb Bowling Network. John Winchell at 140 in that string and lost by 29. Imagine that, 140 and lose by 29. Tough lead, you have a bolt break. Woodside spare. After a spare eight, 35 through three, a spare in the fourth, 45 through four. Plus a ball. Bolt break open, parallel pins plus the seven. Bolt break, nice out, eight. With just 34 through four. Oh, oh. Woodside the Rock, five, nine, and ten. We'll pray the par uh, pack of six parallel pins plus the six, ten. Woodside for a spare. Got it. Got it. Three spares in a row. Give him some bonus money. 
52 through 4, 62 and a ball through 5. Bow prayer spare. Raise the flag, he says. His first mark of the string, 44 half plus 1. Halfway through the match. This is the Sunday Mixed Pro League on Kenneth Moling Network on YouTube. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you. This string is 261 to 246. The shorthanded Team Reno, hosted by Ed Woodside today. And two spares to one in their favor also. They won the first by 17, 532 to 515. They're up in the string right now by 15 of 30 in the match. 32 actually, sorry. They won the first by 17. 532, 515. Ball switch sides. Let's bring in Bob Lee for his thoughts on the first half of the match. Well, um, Team Reno is, is uh, got got the advantage here. I, I gotta say, you, two absent bowlers are pretty reliable for their 90, 90, uh, 96 point, points per shot or, or per side, and uh, that's what that's what uh, Nikki and Celeste are gonna have to match right here. Is uh, another another 97. They're going up against uh, Sure Thing. It's always tough on a, on a Sunday morning. Nice, nice buck one, trying to get back on track. That's five. Nikki McKeever had a 52 half, Celeste a 45 half. Their teammates going side by side due to a five on three match. Celeste open with the parallel pins, the one five to the right, two eight to the left. McKeever has the two four and the 10. Celeste for Northampton, New Hampshire, 179 high single, average of 99, 107 career high for a season. She gets a nine. McKeever with an eight. Celeste 53 through six. Nikki 60 through six, even up. Nikki trying to surpass her 109 for a string. That's the one, three, six, and the 10, a seven rather. One, three, six, seven. Buckmore. McKeever, the fourth one plus nine, 10. I mean, the, fa the fact that the absent bowlers get five pins off their league average is- Oh, what a shot by oh, Buckmore, sorry, Bob. Yeah, no. Unbelievable shot. I was, I was, I was gonna say that it, it was meant to deal with just the situation where it, it, where it's, it's to your advantage not to show up um, in, in some ways because you're going to get your, your guaranteed score. Here now, there is at least a 10-pin penalty that, that, that they're facing. Thanks, Bob Lee. Celeste Bucker, her first mark in a long time since the fifth box of the first string, where she has a spare one fill. And 64 on a ball, and she steals nine. Finally gets a break, 73 through seven, here in the second of three. Nikki had a nine in that last box, 69 through seven. Celeste, another one, friendly shot, back-to-back -back spares, 83 to ball through eight. Good try by Nikki. Good for Celeste. Terrific bowler on and off the lanes, nice lady on and off the lanes. Knife McKeever, 78 through nine. Celeste, Rookie of the Year, the WCBC Pro Tour, and won the WCBC Farewell Tour. She enjoys golfing as well. She also has a New Hampshire State team record as well. Her family got her involved in bowling. Crossing over seven, the half was to right, the three nine, and the seven. 90 through eight. McKeeva, a strike on the delay. 88 plus two through nine. Celeste in the middle. That's a good feeling. You struggle for 10 or 11 boxes on a mark and you get a couple in a row. She'll get a seven. Seven in the strike, Phil. And seven in the box, 97 through nine. McKeever, a seven, 90. A correction, Nikki's on a strike, 88 plus two. Celeste 97 through nine. Crossing over, triangle, three five and the six. McKeever three two split, working on a strike, only three. Nikki had a Metro Bowl PBS, sporting 2.7 bowling balls. 
Celeste missed the object pin. Akiva just missed the object pin. Seven on the strike, 95 through nine. Buckboard eight, what a nice finish this string, 105. McKeever nine, 104, 213 through two. Celeste Buckmore 91 and 105, 196 through two. And now, back to team competition in a sense. Third set of bowls is up now. We're tied, 358, 358. Here in the second of three, a second match later to follow. Featured Amanda Carroll and Josh Daly and others on Kenneth Mall Network on YouTube. Those are, those are really good sides, Paul. That, that, that's exactly, exactly what Team Reno needed. Let's see if they can uh, turn things around. Gia drops eight. Scribner pounds a strike zone. Team Beaupre. <laughs> yeah, Team Beaupre trying to get back in the win column. They're down two points to none. Lost the first by 17. Tied here in the second. With Gia Spare. 64 and a ball through six at a spare six to start and eight and three tens. Shannon's got Woods. She keeps that violin shot. Looks good. Oh, so close. And it does go. Wow, what a shot. A spread eagle for spare in the 10th box of the first. And now look at this. Wow. 63 and a ball through six. Amazing. Tuning up for Saturday's top five live show, Ken Offense for Cancer in Scarborough, Maine, the number three seed. Bougier on the spare, four. 68 through six, Shannon, only three. How many times you see that, Bob? Make a great, great shot, and you get a terrible fill. 66 through six. Bougier, he's up the one and the nine. Scribner. Force from right, the one, three, six, ten. And he can't get the nine to go, he'll get a nine. 77 through seven, Scribner a nine, 75 through seven, with three spares. Fills are seven, four, and three. One pin lead for Team Beaupre, down 16 in the match. Two spares to one, though, for Team Shannon Scribner, part of Team Reno, led by Ed Woodside today. Jeff Bugia. The 219 high single on lane four has the one and the nine. Shannon in the pocket, eight, nine. Kingpin left up to five. This should be a slam dunk. All right, single is 170. Oh, no, oh, no. Fujia for spare. Mr. W wants that one back. Scribner for the spare. Yes. Fourth spare of the string. 85 and a ball through eight. J Jeff, a 10. 87 through eight. Tight battle here in Exeter. Second string of three. First of two matches on Kenneth Mulling Network. Once a month league, draft league, three men, two women per team. You can't just sign up, you have to be drafted. One pin lead still for Team Volpre on the right. Uchia, just four. Scribner on the spare. Just missed the pocket, but has a seven drop. The one, three, and the 10. 92 through eight. I triple 407, I 5 642. Object pin hit, only two for Bajir. Scrivener for a fifth mark, missed inside, has the one and the 10. Jeff look at the three six on the right, 407 left. Bajir seven. 94 through eight, Shannon and eight, 100 through nine. Jeff enjoys Kenneth Moley and fantasy sports. His time off. Drake in Massachusetts. Seven pin lead now. 
Team Reno. 3-1 split for Bugia. The 1-3-6-7 left. Shannon, another four horsemen. The 1-3-6-10. Two spares to one for Shannon's team, though, in their favor. Trying to go up 4-0, being down two bowlers, losing 10 points each string. Bugia, object pin, nothing else. Scribner for a spare. She gets it. Fifth mark of the string. Wow. Bougier. 10. 104 second string. 218 through two. Scribner. 110 and a ball on the 10th. They work really hard for all those pins. And this time she steals nine. 10 strike. Strike on spare. Another gift. On the 14th day of Christmas. 120, or is it 110? 120. 120, second string for Shannon Scribner. What a string. Now a 17 pin lead in the string. They won the first by 17. They're up 34 in the match. Shannon, a 92 and a 120, 212 through two. One of the top bowls in Maine. Ten boxes to go in the second of three. Simino, eight, the two and the four. At a 51 half, Justin Lyonnais, JT, filling in, as is Jay, on a spare, half Worcester, plus one. Three in the fill. 53 half, at a spare three in the second. Simino, spare! <laughs> 61 of the ball through six is second spare. At a four, spare four in the second. JT has the two, six, and ten. He'll get an eight, 61 through six. He had a 124 first string to lead all bowlers. And he wants a spot next year. In the pocket, look, that looked good. Only seven, two on split. The five, nine, and ten, 68 through six for Jay Simino. Terrific bowler over the years. JT spare leave the two and the four. Simino trying to kick it over. Good try. JT spare. Third spare of the string. 75 of the ball through seven. Sim Correction, 71 of the ball. I think if not wearing my reading glasses, wearing my reading glasses. Simino a 10. 78 through 7. Four forty six, four thirty five. The lead is 11 for Team Beaupre. On the left. Correction. Yeah, on the left. Down 17 in the match. Simino, 8. Spare chance to 5 and the 8. On the bonus. JT, 9. 7 pin remains. 80. Through seven. Simino for another one. Yes. 88 in the ball through eight. Another great string here in Exeter. Looking for the next match, Bob. Josh Daly, Amanda Carroll on the same team. Another spare for JT. Back to back. Three in the last four. 90 in the ball through eight. You get Dr. Seuss, Matt Seuss, Austin Barnes, Sonia Johnson, Alana Brown, Luca Chana versus Josh Daly, Amanda Carroll, Mike Salona, Fernando Gachana, and Kathy Boyd out of Haverhill Academy Lanes. After 12 o'clock on Kenneth Pamoli Network, our next match. Simino, seven in the spare. 95 through eight. JT on a spare. Nine. Back to back nine fills. 99 through eight. Four pin left up. Simino, good try. Leads up to four.
JT for three in a row. Bang! 99 the ball through nine. Make that 109 the ball. 99 through eight, 109 the ball through nine. What a performance by Justin Lyonnais. See, we know what that 10, 103. Make that 105 through nine. In the pocket for strike nine. Five pin left up. JT on the bonus, drills the pocket. Eight, the six and 10, spare chance for going for four in a row. 117 through nine. Simino, got it. 115 the ball on the 10th. He's got four marks. JT missed right, wanted that one. Strong finish again. And a 124 in the first. A nine here, a 126 second, 250 through two. Subbing in. Simino closing on his second. On the nose, seven. 122, second string. 222 through two, five box to go. The Sunday Monthly Pro League on Candle from Bowling Network, 501 479. Team Reno with Ed Woodside filling in as the anchor today. Working on a spare, 62 in a ball. Keith Bopre on a spare also, 44 in a ball. His team is down in the match by 39. The Tsunami. On lane four, seven, two on split, the three, six, and the seven, 51 half. Ed Woodside, 62 half, plus this bonus ball. Goes left, five, one, five, six, nine, 10 triangle, 67 half. Oh, what a shot for ball prey! The Tsunami delivers, three, six, and the seven. Back to back, 61 of the ball through six. Woodside denied the spare. Had three in a row up to that point. Nine. 76 through six, four box to go. One more string after that. Another match after that. 19 pin lead for Ed Woodside's team, for Team Bopre. Team Wood, uh, Reno rather. Team Bopre. The captain, five in the fill, 66 through six. What side the triangle, the two, the four, and the five. Team's up 14 right now on the string. 31 in the match. Beaupre, oh, you will be kidding me. Nine holds up. Woodside side missed right, leads to the two and the four. Beaupre needs a strong finish again. To get two points to tie up the match. 10 box, 76 through seven. Woodside, nine, 85 through seven. Three box to go here in the second. 524, 511 at Woodside. His team up by 13 in the string, 30 in the match. The ball play probably needs to mark out, at least get two. Just four. Woodside. You get six, the one, two, four, the five, behind the head pin, the kingpin, the five. Good piece of wood and back to help. Opre takes his time. Really could use this mark. Missed the head pin, leaves up the one of the eight. He'll need two marks minimum. Woodside spare. Got it. 95 with the ball through eight, his fourth mark of the string. Keith, nine, 85 through eight, and a 101 in the first, Ed Woods had a 123 in the first, and the advantage, again, to Team Reno. Despite being on two bowlers, and losing each, losing five pins each. We've already won the first two. Bopre on the bonus. I'm Red Tire on a bonus. Bopre definitely needs a double, minimum. Woodside adds seven on the spare, 102 through eight. 
Lead is 21. One in five chance to convert. And it won't go. That's a six and ten. Woodside open with a six ten also. Bow pray a ten. 95 through 9, Woodside a 10. 112 through 9, one box to go. One more string after that. 21 pin lead, so Woodside a 10 box will clinch it. Both for needs a triple, basically, to have any chance. And that might not be enough. Already lost the first string, 532, 515. Now 21 here in the second, 38 in the match. Opre, that won't go. And Team Reno will take the second string, about four points to none. Woodside, another triangle. This time it's the three, five, and the six. Opre, going sit. That kind of day so far. Woodside, no spare. He's up to six. Didn't need it. Opre, 10, 105, second string, just 206. Through two, Woodside a 10, 122, 245 through two, Fred Woodside, Justin Lyon A's 250 for his team also. Final score of the second string, Team Reno 561, Team Volpre 540, 21 pin lead, 21 pin win. Match it is 38. Is that right, Bob? Yep, 38. One string to go. On Kenneth Paul Never. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you. Bob, your thoughts. Bob, your thoughts. Well, First two. Scribner's strike on spare at the end. Uh, really set, set, set up, set the point up. Team Reno, absent two bowlers now, up two games to nothing. And uh, brilliant substitution so far, uh, Justin Lyonese. All right, third and final string. Another match after this. Celeste Buckmore for a spare. Almost. Nikki McKeever on lane three has a two-one split. We're, at, we're in Exeter, New Hampshire at Shooters Pub Sports Bar at Exeter Lanes. That won't count. That's a nine for Celeste Buckmore. Seven for teammate Nikki McKeever due to a five-on-three match. They're bowling side by side. How about Justin Line Ace, Bob? Oh, he's throwing 39. Leading all scorers to 250 through two. Yep, 124 to 126. Celeste Buckmore, the 4 2 split. McKeever for a strike, it's nine. Just the six pin for a spare. Buckmore's open, McKeever the spare. Okay, I missed that out of the channel, so make that a nine box. Nine for Celeste. All right, Bob Lee. Do some play-by-play -play for a minute there. All right. We have Celeste Buckmore on your right, lane four. First ball in the third box. Four step approach. Right to left ball curves in a little bit onto the two pin. She's facing a, one, a two, three, and one. Got the nine pin sleeping in the back. One at the inside of that slot. Mickey McKeever, good bid, shakes the nine and ten, but she'll be open. <laughs> Still facing seven up. Oh. That'll end up being a uh, six. McKeever with a ten. Becca Vestal absent and Dom Drake absent. 
Their, their scores minus, their averages minus five have been registered. So the two of these bowlers are trying to get 96. Keep their team even. Team Beaupre. Oh, tough one. Off the one, the two pinner won't fall. Both bowlers open in the fourth. Buckmore for 10 here. Nine. Ten for Nick, Nikki McKeever. Buckmore finds a rhythm, but also finds a split. A little better luck for Nikki. Spare bids here in the fifth coming up. Nice, nice try. Low on that pin. McKeever will sit down with a mark. 46, 46. All right, Bob, thank you very much. And that was a 10, that was a nine. That was a nine for Celeste and a 42 half. Back to Paul. Thanks, Bob Lee. Nikki, 46 half plus one. Two teammates side by side now, back to a regular team competition here. Jeff Bogia starting off the third string on lane four. Shannon Scrivener coming off a 120 second string with five marks with a strike spare, spare strike at the end on lane three. Jeff, one, two split. Scribner in the pocket, nine. You just see the difference in her body language now. Or you can just see the uh, getting all pumped up here now. Back on her game. Bogia in the middle. And she'll get a spare to stop the third. The roll continues for Shannon Scribner. Number three seed again this Saturday, Kenneth Mitchell Cancel Cancel Ladies Show on Kenneth Molly Network. Come up to Scarborough, Maine, cheering the ladies. Speaking of that, was Amanda Carroll, the number one seed Saturday. She'll be on our next match here on Kenneth Molly Network just after 12 noon. Bougier in eight, the start is third. This team is down four nothing in points. He'll have a nine ten split, baby split with Wood to help. Scribner on the spare in the pocket at nine. The Wood hit the seven, but it holds up. Nineteen through one. Bougier got it to go. Eighteen in the ball through two. Scribner with two in a row. Yes. 29 in the ball through two. Here comes Shannon Scribner again. Multiple state tournaments in Maine. Over 30 junior tur tournaments. Two ICBA championships, two junior ICBA championships. Bugia eight on the spare. 26 through two, Scribner drops nine again. Spare nine, spare nine, 38 through two, a chance for three in a row. Uchia, field goal, Scribner, bang, three in a row. 48 to ball through three, wow. Jeff Bugia, that's no good, Didn't hit it. nothing to do it anyway. Eight, 34 through three. Eight's a wild, eight box, spare eight, eight. Scribner also, spare nine, spare nine. Nothing fell on that one, Paul, but that, that pin was legal where he hit it. it the, the ball was still, on the, was still on the lane when it hit the pin, even though 80% of the pin was in the channel. I, I believe the, the part that he hit was sticking out, and that, that, that rule, I, as I understand it, and we can talk to our friend Tom Hirsch about it, I think that would have been a legal pin. Which he has, 6'10". No pins fell anyway. It's good enough. Puts up the stop sign. The six pin holds up. The two, four, seven on the left. The way she's throwing the ball now, this might be a spare leave. 
six on the fill, 54 through three in string number three. Ujia, spare. Second spare of the string, 44 and a ball through four. Skirmish, you kick it over. Oh, off the wall. No. Had to go a little more inside to get to the six. Just missed for a nine. 63 through four. Struggle in the first, a spread eagle conversion for a spare. Got to the 95. A 120 second string. With five spares and a strike. On that fill in the 10th box. Ujia on the spare, seven. 51 through four. Scribner on the head pin. Both two on splits opposite sides. Four, seven, 10 for Shannon. Six, 10, seven for Ujia. Jeff, 40 years old. Shannon, just 25 years old. Actually, Shannon just turned 26 last week. So belated happy birthday to Shannon Scribner, 26 years old. Gia's open. Scribner. Oh, she got it with the ball. Can't do anything wrong now. 73 out plus one. Outstanding. Four marks and five boxes. And almost made the other one. With GR10, 61 half. How about Shannon Scribner? Yeah, and I see that her uh, rival, Amanda Carroll, on our left just threw a 140. And we're going to see her next match on Candle Flow Network. And the number one and number three seed, both out of the Big 20, Saturday at the ladies' inaugural Candle Fence with Cancer Top 5 show with special commentator Mike Morin. Jay Simino, Justin Lyons, both subbing in today. JT's been brilliant. Starts off his third with a center triangle. Five, eight, nine. Simino two in the first ball. One left up after two. That's the three pin. JT can't get the pin to go. Jason Simino a nine. JT a nine. The next Kennel Fence for Cancer qualifying rounds at the Riverwalk Lanes, Ainsbury, Mass, Tuesday, January 24th, 11 a.m., Thursday, January 26th, 11 a.m., Saturday, January 28th, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., Sunday, special time, 1 p.m. and 4 p.m., due to King of the River. Please register Kennel Fence number 4, cancer.com, Kennel Fence number 4, cancer.com. $80 entry fee, unlimited entries allowed. Top 5 to the live show in Portsmouth, Sunday, March 12th, all streaming on Kennel Fence Network. Candle pins number four, cancer.com. If you can't blow, please donate to help families suffer through cancer treatments. Candle pins number four, cancer.com. Seminoles open. JT with the 5, 7, 10 leads up the world with discount, the 5 and 10. Simino, 9, 18 through 2 in the final string. One match after this. Field goal for line A, 17 through 2 with the 8. Again, stay tuned after this match. We'll sign off. Get ready for our second match. The number one seed, Team Susie, with Matt, the, the doctor in the house, Susie, Austin Barnes, Lou Gachana, Sonia Johnson, Alana Brown, who finished sixth in the qualifiers for Candle Pins for Cancer with the 538 qualifying round. Simino drops nine, JT367, against Team Daly, featuring the Destroyer, Josh Daly, Amanda Carroll, Mike Salona, Fernando Gachana, and Kathy Boyd, the number six seed. Number one versus number six next on Candle from Bowling Network. Stay tuned for that exciting match. As Bob alluded to, Amanda just got a 140 in that second string. And I think it's because she just bought a wild shirt. All kidding aside, Simino takes his time. Right on it. Spare in the third, 28 in the ball here in the third. JT, open. He'll get an eight, 25 through three. Seventeen pin lead for Team Reno. They're up four nothing in points. 
up 55 in the match. Let's bring in Bob Lee. All right, big, big chance to draw back toward uh, getting into single digits here with a big fill. Simino, eight, and that's what he wanted. Simino, 36 through three. JT, the one five center west of plus the 10. Leads down to nine with a spare. You got it. You got it. Simino with a nice 33 mile an hour delivery. And Lion Hayes matches him, Doc. Not yielding. In the JT, 35 in the ball through four. Jason Simino, Jay Simino, 46 in the ball through four. He prefers Jay over Jason. The two Jays, half west to right, momentum killer. 48 through four after a spare eight. JT, pounds the strike zone. Three six tenths, fair chance. 41, correction, 52, 42 through four. Simino drills. A bunch down, leads up to five. Almost pull off the half whistle conversion. JT for another one, missed it left. Not as sharp this string so far. That's a 124 to 126 to lead all scores coming into the third. Simino a nine, 57 half. And that's the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10, 52 half. Halfway through the third string. This is the Sunday Monthly Draft Mix Pro League on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube. I'm Paul Green along with Bob Lee. Great to be with you on all digital platforms. 221-206, 15 pin lead for Team Reno on the left. And the Rock, Ed Woodside. Closing out the first half, I should say, of the fifth string. Beaupre three, struggling today. Woodside crossing over the hay bale. Ed has been going well as well. He has a 123 and a 122. As Beaupre, 42 miles an hour, is open with the 136. 42 is fast, but Keith, Keith is usually 44 to 46, and he has been hurting. I, 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 I see a little wince in him, and you know, he's not quite himself, I'd say. Eight box to start the third. Woodside a seven. So right now the lead is 14 for Team Reno. Ed Woodside in the anchor spot for Steve Reno today. His team's up 14 in the strength, 52 in the match. They won the first 532 to 515, won the second 561 to 540. Both were close, but they held on both strings. Both pray with the post. Woodside, the Caleri. Bopre, oh, what a shot for spare. Not an easy shot. 18 the ball through two. Woodside's open. The tsunami comes through. Woodside going for the three. Only got one. Most balls go for the short two. 15 through two. The tsunami, his team's down 12, but on a spare. They have two spares to one advantage. Cut the lead into the single digits. On the bonus, head pin, strike! Three step of road, he's digging down, he's making it happen. Woodside with a hay bale, and here comes the tsunami. 28 through two. 38 plus two through three. Here in the third. Woodside off the wall. No. Six holes up and here we go again. Another thrilling string here in Exeter. Woodside a nine, just 24 through three. Here comes Team Bolfre. They can still get four points. Match lead is down to one. Bolfre down one, but they have a strike and a spare. It's a one spare for Team Reno. And the Tsunami will give them a lead here on lane four. Down 39 in the match. For a double. Another good, seven. Two, four, seven. Working on a strike. The Rock at Woodside, off to the right, just five. Ed 245, his first two. Bopre 
Off the wall, got it! Spare strike, spare, wow! Woodside's open with the head pin. 48 through three, 58, the ball through four, and Bob announces good jinx. He said he was hurting. Well, he is hurting, and he, 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 did th he threw that one 43, but he found his rhythm. He, he's, clear, he's clearly not, you know, I, I've covered a lot of Keith, so have you. I've seen him, I'm seeing what he's, what he's feeling perfectly healthy. This isn't it, right, right now we're seeing some grit, though. He, uh, does not want to give in. On the bonus, off to left, just three that time. Woodside at 10, 34 through four. Spare three for Beaupre. 61 through four, 61 through four. Woodside, just two. Just missed Ed Penn. He's starting to feel it now. Look at his language. You can see his body language now. He is a little mini hop. He is just feeling it now on the third. One. Seven nines. So now how you start, it's how you finish. Beaupre, nice out nine. 70 half for the tsunami. Keith Beaupre. Woodside, eight. Difficult half, just 42. Now we have five bucks to go. Our first of two matches today on Candlepin Bowling Network. Please like, share, subscribe. No credit card required. 276, 263. Team Beaupre, now up 13 in the string. Down just 25 in the match. One spare for each side. Bring in Bob Lee. Yeah, big sides from uh, Jeff Pajaya, Jay Simino, and Keith Gofrey, all with uh, well, 61, 57, and 70 in the three, four, and five slots. Shannon Scribner with a big 73, and she's working on a spare in her half. So uh, again, we're gonna we're gonna look at the uh, absent bowlers. Gonna, are gonna register another 97 here, and uh, Celeste Buckmore on your left, and Nikki McKeever on your right. Try to match that or do it better. Okay, thanks, Bob Lee. Nikki McKeever, one, three, six, seven, eight left. Celeste Buckmore, three. Nikki Spare is five, 51 half. Celeste had a 42 half. McKeever missed everything. Celeste goes left. Now it's a parallel pins, plus the three to the right. McKeever, nice out, but only two for seven. Thought she'd get more. 58 through six. He's a teammate side by side. They have five balls to Team Reno's three balls. So they're bowling side by side. And the other scores are already in for the two absent bowlers. That's why you see a higher score right now, as Bob alluded to. Celeste Buckmore in eight, 50 through six. 62 years old from Northampton, New Hampshire. 99 league bowl these days. High single 179, high triple 435, high five at 665. Bowl for 42 plus years. You're filming bold also. She's a golf fan also. The Kiva parallel pins plus the nine. Buckmore half Worcester. Straight parallel pins. The one five to the right, two eight to the left. Buckmore. Tough leave, the one, six, and 10. Punched out two, McKeever and eight, 66 through seven. Celeste gets two for nine. 65 through seven here in the third. Stay tuned for another exciting match on Kenneth Ball Network. Team Daly against Team Susie. The number one seed, Team Susie. Number six team, Josh Daly, including Amanda Carroll on his team. Austin Barnes on Matt Susie's team. Another good young bowler. Nikki, triangle right, the 6 9 10. Celeste, right down the middle, a bullseye shot, a spread eagle. The pins on the right are the 3 6 10, on the left, the 2 4 7. Kiever in the gutter, minus one. Okay, once these two balls are done, you'll see the actual scores. These are two teammates side by side, for the five on three advantage. Eight from Akiva, make the seven with this out of the gutter before, that's right. 73 through eight, seven for Celeste, 66 through eight. 
So let's start off strong in the first string, a struggle the second half, and end up with a 91. Nice bounce back in the second string, 105. No marks here in the third. Here's a Caleri from McKeever. Celeste drills eight. Tough leave. Five to the left, six to the right. Nikki, the runner up in the 2021 20, Women's Chicha National Championship, won by two time winner Lori Lewis. She has the one of the eight. Nikki from Lynn Mass, 105 league bowler. High single 165, high triple 427, high 564 on the Metro Bowl of Hebony Mass. Celeste Buckmore, this would be something. Oh, good try. McKeever gets one for a nine. 82 through nine. Same thing, nine for Celeste. 75 through nine. Nikki at 109, the 104, first two. Shannon Scribner on deck. Red Hot Shannon Scribner on deck. Has a 73 plus one half. Jeff Bogia, 61 through a half, coming up open. Diamond for Nikki. Celeste crossing over, thin hit. Get some help, seven. That's the 5 7 10, a bold load of wood to possibly help. McKeever wide right. 15 pin lead for Team Reno in the string. But that's going to change, though. We have a diamond up here, and we have the 5 7 10. Four pieces of wood. I like, I like the chances here. Look at this. Ah. Oh. McKeever, seven. Disappointing third string, just 89. Celeste gets the 10, 85 third string. So Nikki ends up with a 302, Celeste ends up with a 281. Now the scores of the date, it's a two pin lead for Team Beaupre, 362 to 360. They're down 36 in the match. A spare though for Team Reno. Right here for Shannon Scribner on the right, 73 half plus one. Out of the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, again we'll see her Saturday, it's number three seed. On the ladies' inaugural Candle Pencil Cancer Top 5 live show. Come on to support the ladies, donate to Candle Pencil Cancer. In the pocket, six. It looked better. Triangle, six, nine, ten, and the seven. 79 half. Jeff Bougia. Decent half, 61 open. Four left, six to the right. Wood not in the best position to roll over to the six. Shannon trying to kick it over outside of the 10. Shannon from South Portland, Maine. Jeff Fielgel. Yeah. 2018-22 ICBA champion, Shannon Scribner. Seven, 86 through six. Bugia, nine, 70 through six. Final string of the match. An exciting match up next on Kenneth Mullen Network. Two matches a month. Next match will be February 5th, I believe, Bob Lee. Yes, February 5th, then March 5th and March 26th, a makeup match. Shannon 5, the 1, 2, 7, 8, and 9. That ball is in place. That ball has to get removed, I believe. Not the ball, it's just a reflection back there. It looks like the ball is on the lane. Optical illusion, I guess. 179 left up. The check mark for Bugia won't go. Has the four. Correction, the two, five, and the seven. Scribner trying to get two. Gets one for an eight. So a seven and an eight back to back. 94 through seven. Jeff, a 10, 80 through seven. We are tied in the third string, 381 to 381. The match is 38 for Team Reno on the right. Shannon Scribner, 92 and a 120. That's the 1-8, not easy but makeable. 94 through seven right now. Bougier. Has the Caleri. Jeff a 114, 104. His first two. 
Scribner for another spare. Looks good. She got it. Beautiful shot. 104 and a ball through eight. Bugia, just the head pin. She had trying to go for the eight all sweep for a team. Number 10 seed coming in. Bugia in eight. 88 through eight. Team Bolpray trying to win this string by at least 39 to tie the points at four apiece. Salvage a split. Shannon Scribner. Three marks to start the string. She has five overall in this string. She had five in the second. On the bonus, looks good. Seven, center tr triangle, five, eight, nine. One, 11 through eight. Five, seven split for Bugia. See if we can troll that wood around. Scribner, 30 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour. Just missed it. Thought she had it. Bugia, good try. And a spare eight and a spare seven. The second and fourth box open since. Scribner takes a four step approach. The lefty starts with her left foot. She gets a nice. 121 through nine. Bugia in eight. 96 through nine. Shannon and Scribner's been brilliant since that spread eagle spare. To end the first string, her only mark of the string. On fire since. Tenth box, sec third string. First of two matches. Nice ball, strike in the tenth. Wow, 131 plus two. Half Worcester, Magia. Her team's up 11 right now. Up 49 in the match. Bugia, tough leave. The 1 6 right, left side is the 4 7. Shannon Scribner, five spares, one strike here in the third. The Sunday monthly mixed draft pro league on Camelton Bowling Network. Please share, like, subscribe on YouTube, no credit card required. Get notified when we go live, including Saturday, January 14th, the Big 20, for the top five ladies, Kennel Pins for Cancer show. Scribner for double nine. You're after starting with a 92 now, eh? she's up at uh, three, uh, 352 after three. One more pin on the board for her. Big 20, not an easy house. Averaging 112 in a Tuesday night speed league. And she gets a nine in the strike, a 140 to match Amanda Carroll. The other match, her second string over there. We'll see Amanda Carroll next string, next match. So both big 20 bowlers have 140s today. And they're number one and number three on Saturday. That'd be a fun match to watch. So come up to Scarborough, the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine this Saturday, 11 o'clock on Kenneth Mullen Network. And come up to watch these ladies bowl. 140 for Shannon Scribner. 352 total. Justin Lyon is nine. Kingpin left up to five. 52 half so far. Chase Simino in lane three of 57 half. In the pocket, a little too full. Leads up to seven left, three, six, ten to the right. JT, spare. 62 and a ball through six. Been awesome all day. Simino's open with the three and the seven. Team Daily, Team Susie, number one, number six next on Kenneth Mulling Network. Simino a nine, 66 through six here in the third. Mita Carroll to left in lane one is a spare seven to start her third string. We'll sign off after this match and start a third string just after noontime. JT, another spare nine. 71 through six.
And just missed a spare in lane one. JT for another one. Oh, so close. Feel a breeze back here in that one. Simino off the wall, can't get the kick. JT, nine, wasn't there. 80 through seven. 250 is first two. Jay Simino at 10. 76 through seven here in the third. Some of the best bowlers in the game today are here in Exeter. Next match, Team Susie, Alana Brown, Sonia Johnson, Luca Chana, Austin Barnes, and Matt Susie, the number one seed up next. Great piece of wood in front of the 7 8 for Justin Lyonnais. Simino for strike, 8. Great piece of wood between the 6 and 10. Team Daly, the number 6 seed, Kathy Boyd, Fernando Gachana, Mike Salona, Amanda Carroll, Josh Daly. And Lyonnais can't get it to go somehow. Simino spare, 86 in the ball, here in the third through eight. Third spare of the string, JT at 10, 90 through eight. Jay would love to hand, get that lead down under 20 to hand it off to uh, Keith Beaufray. JT, just the head pin left up. Timino catching fire late here in the third. Simino on the spare six. Three to the right, two, four, seven to the left. 92 through eight here in the final string. JT, missed that pin, got him with the wood, got a break. 100 in the ball through nine. Simino go, trying to go one to three, got the one. Leads up the three for two, four, seven. Simino, nine. 101 through nine. Inca ball, Inca ball is up next to finish up the first match of two. 28 pin lead for Team Mino, looking for the sweep. They have one spare from JT right now, no marks for Team Beaufre, who had the lead earlier in the string. JT crossing over. Breaks in the diamond, seven in the fill, 107 through nine. Simino, triangle, 478, wood to help. JT for another mark, missed to left. So no 120 string this time. That's a 124 and a 126. Great performance for the 112 league bowler. Spare for Simino. Four spare the string, 111 the ball. JT, a seven. 114, third string. All three strings over average. 364, the substitute. Justin, give me a permanent roster spot, Lionies. Likely, I mean, Ed Woodside's going to need a big backside to uh, beat that for the high, the high series. But uh, of course, he, he wants to hold on to that 32 pin lead more than anything. But no better way than by uh, catching up to his sub. Simino drops nine in the spare. Nice finish. 120. Third string. That's the Jay Simino we used to see. So Jay Simino, 120 string. Final five boxes, another match to follow. Matt Susie, Amanda Carroll, Josh Daly up next. Ed Woodside, 42 half. Beaufray drops nine, six pin wiggles, but holds up. He had a 70 half. His team is down 23. Woodside's open. Beaufray for spare, yes. 18 a ball through six. Woodside a nine, 51 through six. The total is pretty much out of reach now, I would think. With four box to go, they can still win the string, but it's gonna get more marks to do that. So it looks like Team Reno has six points wrapped up. 
right side gets six. That's the one, two, seven, eight behind the two. Bofre has four marks, the last five boxes. Crossing over, six. Three, five, seven, ten. 86 through six. Woodside missed the head pin. Open string so far. They don't need him this string. He carried him a lot. Justin Lines, the first two. Bofre, oh, he got it! Incredible shot for Spare. Back to back, five out of six. 96 to the ball through seven. What's out of 10? 61 through 7. Can Keith Bopre will his team to two points? They're down 16, but on a spare. Which side? Spread Eagle. Bopre can cut it as low as 6. Off the left, 6. This won't be easy. The 1, 3, 7, 10. 102 through 7. Lead us down to 10. Woodside for Spare on the Eagle. He got, he got it! That's two spread Eagles for the team. Wow! Clutch shot. Scribner in the first and the 10th box of Spare on the spread Eagle. Ed Woodside in the third. In the eighth box of spread Eagle's only mark of the string. 71 of the ball. How about that? Ball player, tough six. 108 through eight, just when they got to the 10 digits, Woodside, an unthinkable spare on the Eagle. Two one percenters have gone today. Both in the same team, both short-handed. The team short-handed, two bowlers too. So they lost 30 pins in the match, and they lead still by 52. So they're gonna take total. Woodside and the spare is the post. Five, Phil. 76 to 8. Lead us up to 19 again. Bopre is probably need a double. Won't get it here. 4, 6, and 10. Woodside. He's up to 1 and 10. Clutch spread eagle spare for Woodside. And Bopre's team is knocking the door. All three strings, but. Not able to push through, and there's a shot! Another great shot for Beaupre, the Tsunami. 118 the ball through nine. Woodside, a nine. 85 through nine, one box to go, then another match to follow. We'll sign off after this match. Get ready for Team Susie and Team Daly with Amanda Carroll as well. Woodside, 3 6 10, spare chance. Beaupre down 18. Only three in the spare, and that should do it. A 8 0 sweep of Team Reno. 121 through 9 for Wolfrey. In a losing effort. Woodside spare in the 10th. 95 in the ball. Wolfrey, 7 10 corner post. Bopre, a nine, 130, third string. 336 total. Woodside, five in the fill, even 100. 345, Justin Line, a subbing in, 364 leads his team. Shannon Scribner, two great strings, a 120 and a 140, second and third. 352, their team wins the string, five, What's the total bomb there in the third? 547 to 526. Three close strings. They win it by 59. The final score, Team Bolpray loses 1640 to 5081 to Team Reno. Reno with the 8 0 sweep. Bob, your final thoughts before we sign off. I just put the final scores up on the screen, and uh, Justin Lyonnais was a uh, you know player player of the match, you know. Uh, although Shannon Scribner, after her 92, putting up scores of 120 and 140, she clearly led the comeback um, after uh, after the Beaupre squad had, had drawn even, and. Um, 
What do you say? It's a eight zero sweep. It was a, for a short-handed team. For a short with the five three, and they bowled together the first two bowlers on uh, their team. We're going to be uh, coming back about a half, maybe less than a half an hour for next matches. Other teams just halfway to the third string. We're going to sign off now, and we're going to come back in a little bit live on Kenneth Moe Network. Again, Team Daily, the number six seed against number one seed Team Susie. Again, Matt Susie's team, Alana Brown, Sonia Johnson, Luca Chana, Austin Barnes, and Dr. Seuss, Matt Susie, against Team Daly, Kathy Boyd, Fernando Cachana, Mike Salona, Amanda Carroll, and Josh Daly, next on Kenneth Mall Network. For now, Paul Graham, Bob Lee saying so long for now. Thank you for watching this great game of Kenneth and Bowling on Kenneth and Bowling.